Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome back. This is going to be your milk, your you versus them reading. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your energy and the person on your mind's energy. And then we're going to see where this connection is going. Okay, so let's get some messages for Sagittarius. Some cards you just want to steady flip over. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, for your energy, we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. Okay, for your person, we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So there may be a lot of flirting going on between you and this person. Okay, there may be a lot of interaction. Um... A lot of back and forth energy, um, but I feel like there's a lot of flirting. And on on your side, we're going to go ahead and use the Spellcaster's Tarot, Sagittarius, and see where your energy lies. And then we're going to use the Modern Witch Tarot for your person. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get some energy for Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius feel about this person, please? How does Sagittarius feel about this person? We have the Eight of Wands. Wow, you want to take action. You want to communicate. This is communicate, travel, taking action, that, ins that inspiration, right? So I feel like this person inspires you to take action, okay? And we have the Four of Swords. So you're thinking a lot about this, Sagittarius. But I feel like, you know, there's, you're, you're kind of holding back a little bit. You're taking a step back, trying to get yourself together. Um, hmm. I feel like this person may have caught you off guard with some of the flirting that they're doing. Okay. If you're not having any contact with this person, I feel like there's a lot of communication back and forth. Um, I feel like you may have met this person online. There's a lot of messages, a lot of interaction. Okay. Um, where's this connection going? Oh, the Six of Cups. So happy life, happy family. You're thinking a lot about this. You, you, you're like coming back to those feelings. You know, the Six of Cups, that's like nostalgia. That's like, you know, feeling happy and innocence, you know, getting gifts or having a reunion. So if this is someone who's coming back, you really want to be reunited with this person, right? You want this person back in your life. And I feel like, you know, there's something that you're doing that's, Kind of holding you back from the situation, but you're ready to move forward. You're ready to make that leap of faith. Okay. Um, very interesting. Hmm. Tell me more about why is the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords here? Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords? Yeah, you may be traveling to go see this person, or they may be traveling to see you. You know, there's some kind of action that you want to take. This person may really inspire you. You know, this may be a, a person who is like a free spirit. You know, someone very creative. But, I, you know... With the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands, this is someone who really wants to take action. This is someone who really wants to move forward with something. And I feel like if you're moving forward with something, you know, that's the reason why you had to take a step back. Because maybe you were too eager for the situation, right? Why is the Six of Cups here? The Eight of Pentacles. Definitely. So I really feel like with the Six of Cups energy and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like there's something that you're working on. There's something that you're working on. 
You know, you, you may be working hard in the situation, trying to become clear on your intentions towards this person. I feel like they, they kind of put you in this space that makes you very nervous, very nervous to take action. I, you know, the Four of Swords and these Wands, you know, there's this nervous energy that may, that stops you from taking the action that you want to take. Like, you know, what if they don't get my text or what if they don't answer right away? What if they aren't willing to see me or you know what I'm saying? I feel like you're kind of going back and forth with the situation. Um, but I feel like this person, yeah, you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of rejection, Sagittarius. I feel like that's what's holding you back. Because I, I, I feel like you may have lost sight of love for a while. Um, and now you're, you're trying to regain those feelings. Okay. Maybe you're just getting out. Um, finally socializing after maybe being attached for a long time. Um, you're finally getting out and meeting new people, you know, after, you know, some kind of attachment to something, right? Or after a divorce. But you're kind of deep in thought. You're hesitant too. You, you have your guards up a little bit, Sagittarius. Okay, you, it could be that you're healing from something, it could be that you're healing from a past relationship. Tell me about this person for Sagittarius. Tell me about this person for Sagittarius. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius spirit? Give me a message. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is working too. This could be, this could actually, you know, both of these sides are working. It could be that you have met this person at work. You met them during work. Could be that they're another co-worker, a supervisor, you know, someone in your department or another department in your company. Um, but I feel like this is, could definitely be a work vibe connection, right? T tell me about this person's intentions towards Sagittarius. What are this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? Yeah, they find you attractive. Wow. Queen of Wands. This person is very attracted to you. They're very attracted to you, Sagittarius. They feel like, you know, they have a lot of a lot to offer you. You know, this person may be very confident. Um, they feel a feistiness, you know, that's the reason why we have flirting up here, right? Um, but I feel, I feel good vibes when I, when I see this person, when I'm seeing this interaction, I get good vibes. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius themselves, could be your energy, Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like this person really is inspired by you, okay? There's something that inspires them about you there's this fire this passion i feel like this awareness you know they kind of see you as someone very feisty and courageous okay tell me where this connection is going with this person the devil Ooh, this person has sexual fantasies about you definitely they have very strong sexual fantasies about you. 
I feel like your intentions are very sexual. Okay. Um, interesting. Hmm. Because I see the attraction. I feel like you could work with this person, but there's a lot of sexual fantasies. You know? That can either be a good thing or a bad thing, Sag. You know? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Okay? Tell me more about this energy. Why is the devil here? Give me a message. Why is the devil here? The Five of Cups. Hmm. The Five of Cups energy. This person may or may not have walked away from this situation, or maybe they feel like Like when they tell you what their intentions are, you're going to walk away. Okay? They feel like when they tell you their intentions, they're going to walk away. Because I feel like, you know, we have the Five of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands. You know, the, this person is hoping. <laughs> what they're hoping for, you know, you can let your mind wander here. You know, but they're hoping that you make a good choice. Because I feel like they're going to keep flirting. They're going to keep flirting with you, Sagittarius. Because I feel like this person is very playful. They're very, they're very confident. Okay? And I feel like there's some kind of choice that either you or this person needs to make. There's some kind of choices that need to be made in the situation. But there's a lot of confidence. And I do feel like there is a lot of happiness here. I feel like this person makes you laugh uh, with their flirting, with their sense of humor. I feel like they have a really good sense of humor. They make you laugh. They really have you deep in thought sometimes, you know. And sometimes I feel like this person, what they say may have you confused. <laughs> because I feel like they're kind of deep, right? Um, but I feel like they're definitely moving towards you, Sagittarius. And I feel like they're they're going to give you some kind of offer. Okay? They're going to give you some kind of offer that they're hoping that you're not going to refuse. Okay? But I feel like, you know, this flirting isn't going to stop. No. They, they, they find this very attractive, very playful. So they're like ready to keep playing. They're ready to keep, you know, you smiling, right? So let's get some messages from your person. What what would they say to Sagittarius if they had a chance? What would they say to Sagittarius? So many things remind me of you. They think about you a lot. They think about you. I want to feel that way again, okay? Give me more messages for Sagittarius. What would this person say to Sagittarius, please? We need to let each other go. Hmm. Why is that here? I know I was a distraction from your pain. Well, I, I feel like Sagittarius, there's another energy coming in that kind of feels like like, they're not sure of how you're going to react to the situation. Um, this could be another energy, a past energy coming through. I couldn't let you get close to me. Hmm. And I will wait for a sign from you. Okay. So I feel like this person is really, really wanting to know what you're thinking okay I, I feel like this person may have thought that they have crossed the line that you know something they did kind of pushed you away from them right um i feel like this person is really thinking about the situation on where it's going to lead um and if you are going to accept 
the offer that's being given, you know? And on your side, I feel like you're thinking about things. You're, you're being inspired by this person. I mean, this person is making you happy with the silly things that they're doing with all this flirting and all this back and forth communication. But you're not quite sure what their intentions are. And I feel like we see that their intentions are really sexual, right? So where is this situation going to go? Is it going to pull you towards that situation? Are you okay with the situation being more sexual? Or are you gonna? Or is it gonna lead you away? You know, um, I feel like the answers that you need will be coming to you. You just need to hold on to um, the vision that you that you're having. You know, but I, I feel like there this situation is going to work itself out, right? Let's get some more messages for. Sagittarius, see where, look, listen to your inner voice. Alignment is needed. Okay, so listen to your intuition, Sagittarius. Your intuition is not going to steer you wrong. You know, um, where this situation is going. There may be an apology that you're going to be accepting very soon from this person. <laughs> I feel like they're sarcastic. Sorry, not sorry. Right? I feel like someone isn't really sorry for something that they did. But they may want to start something new with you. Okay? Um, let's get some messages. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? I'm sorry I have issues from a past relationship. Uh, you need to heal so that you can move forward. Someone has a victim mentality, um, Sagittarius, and you need to see the bigger picture before you can move ahead. Uh, for some of you, there's someone who is headed for a happy reunion, okay? And we have ask and you shall receive. You are limitless. You have the strength. You have courage. And we have miracles are occurring. And we have someone from a past life. And I need to tell you the truth. Okay, so th there may be a soul connection, but you do need to pay attention to the red flags. Okay, and I apologize. My voice is leaving Sagittarius, so bear with me. Now, we do have time to take action um, and time to start something new, right? So I'm not sure where this situation is going. This is toxic and not for you. Okay, so Sag, wow. Let's go ahead and get a timeline for Sagittarius. Let's get a timeline for Sagittarius. Okay, sometime around your birthday. Okay, so sometime in December or November. Okay, so that's when the situation is going to be when you're going to understand more. Okay, for some of you, close your eyes, feel what you want, set those intentions approximately three months. Okay, so sometime between three months and your birthday. Okay, that's when the situation is really going to get moving. That's when the momentum is really going to be there for the situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number for Sagittarius. We have 555 change. Okay, change happens outside your comfort zone. The time for change is now and angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk it. Take the next, next step. Allow change to lift you up and guide you forward, okay? Your affirmation, Sagittarius, I release all that no longer serves me as I am 
guided to move outside of my comfort zone and let change in. Okay, so this is your reading, Sagittarius. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, go ahead and uh, take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements. They may be resonating with you more or give you more messages. I also do readings every week. So if this message doesn't resonate, come back next week. You'll be able to see another reading. And until your next reading, my lovely Sagittarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.